everyone and welcome to or welcome back to Nora's Cove. If you're new here, I am Yoshida. I am a self-employed hairstylist and I like to get my life together by planning my budget and my finances. I also like to plan my life minimally and functionally using a planner. If that sounds like something that you are interested in, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit that thumbs up and leave me a message in the comment section letting me know that you are new here so that I can welcome you to the Cove. But today we will be doing our paycheck to paycheck weekly budget. And for me, that is just a budget for my inconsistent income. Um, but before I start, we have to close out last week. I'm gonna look at my notes over here. Um, you guys, uh, wait till you see it. I did a little bit because I had to um, just check things off. But we ended up making, we guesstimated or budgeted 1300 in here. We ended up making $1,405. Um, <laughs> we were going to pay ourselves finally from Norris Cove $200. It was an accident that I actually used this because this was supposed to go towards debt. But I'll tell you about that in a minute. And then so our total, we uh, guesstimated as being $1,500. It ended up being $1,605. I was scared to use this but it accidentally got used. I was going to try to avoid using this, but y'all, I made a mistake. I paid a bill that I hadn't planned to pay until either next, well, this week or the week after for $206. Well, I looked up and it came out of my business account. It was really my fault. I paid, I thought I was paying $15 and wasn't paying attention. I used my PayPal and it ended up coming and I used my business account through my PayPal. It was a whole mess. I looked up. I'm wondering why $206 is missing. So I really never got to put this towards the debt I intended to, but the debt got paid. And it actually going to a, went to a bill that, like I said, I was just going to pay this week or next week. It just wasn't in the cards to pay it that week. Nonetheless, I got over it. I called my bank like, how can I stop this? Because I saw it pending. And they was like, well, we have to pay you know, any, I guess, anything coming in. And if you have an issue with it with PayPal, you got to dispute it with PayPal. And in my mind, it was just no need to dispute it with PayPal. It's a whole kind of backstory. Like, I did it. You know what I'm saying? It was an accident. I did it. I also had a couple of accidents this week. I thought I had bought products for the budget box. I thought I used my business account. They have similar numbers ending in. And I thought I was using my card. So I realized, I said, oh, I took it out of the business checking and I didn't hit the right button. So, okay, it'll come out within two days. So I left the money in the account. Of course, it's there. It's not going anywhere. And I kept wondering why it was taking it so long. And I'm trying to be short-winded, but my business account is with the same bank, but it's not connected to my personal account. And I have one account just for the car note. Long story short, it came out of my car note account. There was no money there because it wasn't time for me to add money to that account. I don't even have a card to that account, but it was linked to my PayPal as well. And I accidentally used that account. It came out of there. I got two uh, overdraft fees for two products I purchased. And I couldn't understand it at first, but when I realized what I did, and I did this search, you know, reach, research and look back at PayPal, it was the wrong account. So I ended up taking that account off of my PayPal. It was just a mess. So luckily the bank said that, you know, you've never had any overdraft fees in this account, so we're going to refund you your money. So they did. They refunded me my overdraft fee. I took the money from my, uh, because they're going to run it back. So I took the money from my business account and had to transfer it to my card checking that is that but this week was a whole because i was so busy trying to pay off debt it was just a whole mess i got so excited that i could pay the bills that i just got like i don't know just totally mixed up with all these bank accounts that i have nonetheless let's close this out so we ended up making 605 dollars i mean excuse me 1605 dollars uh we paid Credit One. Their money came out. Klarna, uh, another Klarna. We paid a firm. Everything in the bread got paid. Let's just say that. And community, all that stuff got paid. Apple Music, more firms, Zip. Everything I said I was going to pay pretty much in the red, I paid. Canva, I believe Canva came out. I'm going to double check. Now, American Home Shield, that's supposed to come out on the 10th. 
the money is in the account that it's supposed to come out of, which is my bills account. It just hasn't come out yet. Um, it probably because it was a Saturday, it'll probably come out on Monday or Tuesday. Boothrin got paid. Chase, I did not pay. PayPal, I did not pay. HB Inc., I think that's coming out this week. I was supposed to pay it with part of this because that is a business expense, but <laughs> we didn't have it after that. And I just wasn't touching the rest of the money because the rest of it actually went to products. Um, Ulta didn't get paid. Walmart got paid. I paid them $56. And I was so confused as to how I'm using my sinking funds cash envelope category over here. I thought that I was using it for like the week, but then I realized I was using it like for the past week. And then it dawned on me that it is for what I plan to take the money from this money. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, I had put down $120 because I knew I had put the money from last week and I was going to add to it. But but then I put 4631. That's not the case. It was 60. That's what I put in my envelopes this week. The Saturday. Well, you know what? That was last. Yeah, that was last week's money. So that's correct. 60, 10 out of savings, 10 in future, 10 in PTO, 4 and 1 and 5s. Jaden got two planning. All this ended up being $166. Then here where the problem came in. <laughs> I needed products this week and just buying, I'll show y'all my little scrap paper. Here I go with the scrap paper, but just buying, this is all products. Just buying, spending $16 here, $34 there, $79 there, $30 there, $56 there, $12.71 and $31 ends up being $260, actually $261.71. Woosah. And then I put $62.10 in my gas that came out. And then household was $8.34 just on some toilet paper and paper towels. And I kept it real simple. Okay. So I ended up spending $301.15 in expenses. Never. <laughs> so I shouldn't buy have to buy products for a good little while. And that, that all went over there. So that's it, y'all. So let's do a little math and see how we panned out if we kind of got zero. I know there's just like some extra money somewhere. I just don't know. Let's kind of close this out and see. So it looks like with everything I paid, it was $784. I'm going to use the green, $784. That don't sound right because I will, once we add in all this other stuff. Then we have $166. Then we have $301.15. So $1,251 is everything together. Let me see where I'm going to put that total bills. I'll just put it over here with the total bills ended up being $784. Total expenses ended up being $301.15. Total sinking funds ended up being $166. Okay. No debt. And the total I'll just put down here ended up being $1,251.19. And I think the reason there's more money left is because I pretty much basically didn't pay myself. I put more into the product. So, And there were some miscellaneous expenses. I did eat out. So there's that. <sighs> Last week is closed out. All right. Let's get on to the nitty gritty. Now, I'm going to set my planner aside because I need to flip to the calendar month. Let me show y'all. Let's see what we're going to pay this week. I've already kind of glanced at it, and uh, yeah, I don't know. 
I don't know. This is what we have to pay this week. We have Navy Federal Credit Union, T-Mobile, Capital One, HP, Inc., Klarna, Affirm, Alley. And actually, Alley is not $749 this month because I pushed part of it to the end of my loan. So it's like, I gave them two for these. So it's like $500. I want to say $525 this month. And then we have Citibank, Ulta, Klarna, Affirm. I'm just going to kind of pick and choose because I am trying to pay off these quad pays. So we definitely know we're going to pay quad pays. And we got to pay booth rent, which is here. So I'm going to go off camera and write everything down. But first, let's get into our income. So for hair, I've done the guesstimation. I think two weeks ago it was like seven eighty five. dollars um, After my estimation, I think we can come in at $800. Um, no code, we're paying ourselves $100 because everything has been paid. And we're going to actually use that to cover uh, HP Inc. and the rest of the bills. The Basically, the business bills that I didn't pay last week was what we made because the $200 went missing. I got to sell something this week in order to make some money. So I'll do miscellaneous. I don't know how much I can make. Um, yeah, I don't know how much I can make, but we'll just leave that for now. And our total is 900 Okay, this is the week of 212 through 218. We're on check number three, I believe. Yeah, we're on check number three. Okay, we'll come back and fill that in. And I got to make sure I did that for last time. Okay, now I'm going to fill out everything that I need to pay and... I will be right back. Okay, so we are back and we have hair coming in at 800, North Cove 100. I definitely need to pick a side hustle this week and it may be selling things online. I have plenty of a D stash to get rid of. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to get rid of it. Um, I'm not even going to put anything there. What we make will go towards paying off something. Um, let me explain here in the red is just things that are behind that I need to pay, but just may not get paid this week. But I'm not going to add it in my total. It's just here for me to see it. But we have Navy Federal Credit Union. That's a credit card I have. We owe 20. That's the minimum payment. T-Mobile 138.77. This is a payment plan I've made with them. So I need to pay that. Cell phone, I mean, excuse me, Capital One is 40, HP Inc. 55, I'm guesstimating because last week, last month they hit me for $80. Corner is 1987, which is on time. I've caught up all my quad pays. Affirm is 28.72, Klarna is 22.01, and Booth Rent is 250, which has to be paid. Affirm is $16.61. Um, and again, these other things in red, if I can give them $100 each, that would be great. But let's do some totaling. And it was something that popped in my mind. I'm thinking like, where's my paper? Yeah, so this is all I owe left. With zip, I think I paid that off. No, I have probably one more payment. Why didn't I in here? I'm going to add them. But zip, let me just put them in red. My budget, I swear, is getting more and more complicated. And I think it's like a 50-something dollar payment. I'm going to put 52. I think that's all I owe them. So we're definitely going to try to sneak them in. But this is, because I have it circled in red. But this was my balance. And I think I paid half of that. So it's $101.20. Pretty much 52. Klarna is $90.36. That is all we left owing them. And they'll be paid off. I really want to say Zip will be paid off with the $52. Affirm, because this was the other day. I should have dated it. Affirm, we owe $137.90. So, I would love to pay these. I want to kind of dip in my savings just to pay these off because it's driving me bananas to owe, owe them. Like, I was think I was telling my accountability group, I never used to let the quiet pays get like this because I don't like to owe people like that. I wanted to keep it for like a, you know, case I really, really needed it. Now, I just got to get caught up. Anywho, 
let's do some totaling here. Okay, so we have $642.98. I went ahead and added this $52 because I want to get this paid. So I'm going to put a little arrow there. So we have $642.98. We're going to probably round that out to $643. And let's subtract it from $900. $257.02. We'll just leave it $257 remaining. $257. And then let's come over here and add up our envelopes. I've kind of already done my breakdown. I want to spend roughly $110 to $120. That's 110. Now, what I did was I moved birthdays down here to expenses. I have some in my wallet for birthdays, but I'm just guesstimating an extra $40 to what I have. So that's 40. I don't have to get gas this week. If I do, I will <laughs> go nowhere. <laughs> and after I spent so much on products last week, we're not getting products. Um, debt payments. I'm not going to pay anything. If anything, it'll be over here so far. So let me cross that out. Now, let's get the total income. 900. Total bills, 642. Should have put me to 643. 643. Total expenses, 40. And total sinking funds is 110. No debt payment. So let's subtract all this from 900. Subtract 643. Use this for 257. Subtract 110. Subtract 40. Leaves us with 107. One oh seven. So to zero base this out, let's try to pay Alta. So let's put them on our I'm gonna do an arrow here. That leaves us seven dollars. We can add that to our ones and fives. And that would make this seven more dollars this year. <laughs> but no, two more dollars, $112. And now we're zero based out. Well, no, seven plus the five, 13. Lord Jesus, let me just use a calculator because I'm doing, it's too early in the morning and this table is getting my nerves. 20 plus Yes, I did it right. 112. Okay. Oh, what did I? No, because you got the five. Thank you. 117. Let me put 117. I thought that would be right. So we had 117 for that. So if we go back to zero it out, just on a inconsistent uh, income, and we are guesstimating, let's do 900 again to make sure that we are zeroed out. 900 minus... 643. That leaves, leaves us with 257. We're going to subtract 117. And then pretty much, let's see, 40. Then we went over here and paid Ulta. We're going to put that in debt. Ulta, which is 100. Subtract that. That gives us zero. I'm trying to do better at zero basing it out, and if there's anything else, I can apply it to somewhere else. Like, 
let's say we get an extra $100 and we make $900 this week, then I can pay something else, Citibank or something like that. I hope I'm making sense. Because I know a lot of people are not self-employed, but I do know that I have a couple of hairstylists on my page that follow me, so I hope that helps. Every dollar needs somewhere to go, and we have to just assign it somewhere to go. And when we get paid, we have to make sure that we're paying our bills, our debt, all that great stuff. I can't wait to close this out and see how this week goes. I'm going to try to make it a great week. Let's see. I need to move this to earn card. <laughs> right over here. Right over here. I'm going to fill that. I keep saying I'm going to fill that out later, but I really am. Um... Y'all see that noise. That's my light. Um, here we are. This is what we have going on this week. On this day, I got to kind of set this up again. Um, I already kind of know what I'm going to make this day. Almost $200. I'm going to go ahead and pay Navy Federal Credit Union. Uh, I'm going to leave some to help pay for T-Mobile. And then all this stuff that's due on Thursday. Oh, and the reason I didn't add my car note is because it's not going to come out until next week. So I really need to kind of move that, which is pretty good because it'll be coming out on my busy week. But I'll probably go ahead and take care of that zip payment. Here it is right here. So I actually owe think $49.64. I paid one of these. I think it was the 4964. So we're gonna pay zip. I'm gonna put zip over here on Monday. 5164. So what I'm doing now is because of my income, I'm looking at my days I get paid, the days that I make a good amount of money, and what can I pay ahead of time to cover those things. I need to look at my HP Ink and see, let me put a blue. I need to look at my HP Ink to see how much that is and if I can go ahead and pay that. Um, like I said, Ally will, Ally will come out next week. We'll have a Klarna payment due, which should get paid in a firm. I may go ahead and just pay a firm just to get that out the way, but it would be best to pay it here on this date. So that's kind of how I'm doing my budget now. L last week was a mess. Like all this stuff got paid, but I needed to really look at this. Now what I'm going to do, I finally got my personal setup. I hope this video is not long. And I got my pages in here. So now what I need to do is come in. I just transferred this right on over. But I need to come in and do kind of the same in here. Because last week, I kept saying, what am I supposed to be paying? I, even though I had those little sheets, it looks better to me on account, like a bird's eye view. So I had to like, <laughs> one of, I took a still picture, I think, of the video that I did. So I had to kind of, to make a thumbnail i had to blow that picture up and see what was actually due that day and i realized that is pretty much my problem that's how i get behind because i don't come and look at this which i should do that's where your money routines come in that's where your money habits come in your money schedule how you look at your budget and how you plan your budget you gotta look at it often i have all these reminders but it doesn't make sense if i'm not looking at it anyway I'm not going to hold y'all. I'm going to probably go back in here and see how I'm going to pay things. Again, I'm going to set up some things to sell. My other side hustle is Instacarting. I hate it with a passion, but not necessarily with a passion, but I hate it. But if that's what I got to do to get caught up, that's what I'll do. Um, I'm looking into some other side hustles, but my favorite sad hustle is just getting rid of stuff <laughs> because it's easy and I can just ship it. But that's what we have going on this week. And this is it. So the only thing I can think of is, yeah, I just need to make sure I have at least $117 to stuff. I'm going to be taking my tips to kind of cover my sinking funds, cash envelopes. I'm going to do everything I can to pay off these and I just thought about something. I'm making these bundles for the planner 
um, convention in April, I may make two or three more just to sell so that we can cover some of this debt. That always helps me out. So I may do that. There's other things I can do. But that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If today was your first time watching any of my content, you enjoyed today's video, please let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And when you comment, let me know that you're new here so that I can welcome you to the Cove. Thank you for watching. Bye.